In the storm you come to me Though my cause is my own I'm afraid it leads to you And you and you alone And I can't change I would lie if I said that I wasn't drawn to you though I have all I need Something deep within me says and tells me I must go to where I find you. <laughs> Listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I like a lot of y'all probably can't wait to get out here a little bit um, and throw a rod or something in the water. Now that summer is up on us, weather has changed, especially where we live. We don't get much uh, warmth. Um, unfortunately, because of the climate, I don't even feel comfortable making a trick and, and, and fishing throughout the state like I usually do and like I love to do and like I've done for pretty much all of my life. Um, I'm just really uncomfortable with it now. Um, but I have decided to go just maybe not as far out as I would usually like to just follow the river. But um, but what is concerning me is I, I read this article by Rachel Fetter, you know, and um, this 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 uh, article is saying that the deadly brain eating amoeba has expanded its range northward. So I thought this was a very interesting article. Uh, I want y'all to listen to it, please. First of y'all, spend some time on the water by fresh water and things like lakes and rivers and you know there's a deadly brain eating amoeba infections that have historically occurred in the southern states but now cases have been appearing farther north in recent years likely because of the climate change a new study finds the study researchers from the centers of D disease control and prevention examined cases of this brain eating amoeba known as Nagar, no, 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 y'all work with me now. Nagalaria follery over a four decade period in the U.S. And what they found was that although a number of cases that occur each year has remained about the same, the geographic range of the cases has been shifting northward with more cases popping up in the Midwestern states than before. So that's where I'm at, and that is my point of contention for concern. Um, this infallary is a single-cell organism that is naturally found in warm, fresh water, such as lakes, rivers, um, and this is according to the CDC. It causes devastating brain infection, known as the primary amoebic meningitis syphilitis. They call it PAM for short, which is uh, almost universally fatal. Um, infections occur when contaminated water goes up a person's nose, allowing the organism to enter the brain through the olfactory nerves. Um, that's the one that's uh, olfactory is, is the nerves that's responsible for your, I believe it's your sense of smell. 
Yeah. And they destroy brain tissue. Swallowing contaminated water will not cause an infection, the CDC says. Isn't that something? Because the Falari thrives in warm waters up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, it is possible that global warming temperatures may affect the organic organism's geographic range, author said. In this new study published Wednesday um, in the journal Emerging Infectious Diseases, the researchers analyzed U.S. cases of the Infilari linked to recreational water exposure such as swimming in lakes and ponds, rivers, uh, Lakes, rivers, reservoirs, all from 90, 1978 until now. They identified a total of 85 cases of N. Falari that met their critical uh, criteria for the study. The cases that were tied to recreational water exposure and included local data. During this time, the number of yearly reported cases was fairly consistent. They ranged from zero to six per year. The vast majority of cases, 74, occurred in southern states, but six were reported in the Midwest states, including Minnesota, Kansas, and Indiana. Now, of these six cases, Five occurred after 2010, the report says. So what's more, when the team used the model to examine trends in the maximum latitude of cases per year, they found that a maximum latitude has shifted about 8.2 miles in kilometers north where, uh, northward. And that was a cause for their concern. So I'm not saying that this is just a big, uh, you know, hey, there's a brain-eating uh, fear-mongering, uh, flesh-eating amoeba out there for your brain. Everybody panic. No, but what I'm saying is be cautious if you, in the summertime, now that we do know that global warming is real, and if you are a person that like to participate in outdoor activities like, you know, water skiing or, you know, things that had nature, swimming, uh, you know, water volleyball, now, all of it, just make sure that you are aware of this um, pretty much amoeba that's surfacing. You know, I've, I've had somebody that had a real bad staph infection and almost lost um, their arm because of it. Uh, and, you know, these things like this, they may start off small, but they can end up you know, being pretty nasty. So just remain cautious as the water is beginning. I mean, the weather is beginning to warm up and you're going to be enjoying outdoor activities. Some of y'all already need deep in it. But those of us that live in the Midwest, we, we just start to experience uh, uh, weather now because we have, sometimes we have snowstorms in May. So anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. What y'all think about that? What you think about a brain eating amoeba? You know, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't survive no more attacks, y'all. We can't, we can't survive no more attacks from nothing and nobody, right? What y'all think about it? Maybe it's just me tripping. I don't know. You know, I always ask y'all, why am I straight? Why? Give me some LSD. I'll see y'all in the next video.